The government shutdown could mean some changes for Metro. The money from federal riders isn't coming in, and that is just the beginning. I've got transportation reporter Pete Montine to here to talk about what's at stake, and there's a lot at stake, right? So much at stake, and it's a lot of money for Metro. It's missing out on $400,000 wow. every weekday during the shutdown. That's just revenue from ridership and parking alone, not to mention the fact that a big chunk of Metro's budget comes from the federal government. Metro already says it's missing out on $30 million from the feds, and that number could rise to $50 million by the end of this week. That's a lot of numbers. You yeah. wonder as a rider how this could impact you. A lot of real impacts on real people. This could impact your safety because Metro says if the shutdown goes on really long that they might have to defer some of those repair projects that are going on overnight during weekends. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, also their service. Metro says that it might have to take some of those eight car trains that it uses during rush hour to increase capacity off the line. And then this could also impact staffing. If Metro does that, it would impact a lot of workers. That's one of Metro's biggest expenditures, but it would make them very angry. Let's talk about the long term. What does this mean down the line? Well, Metro needs every cent it can get right now because it's trying to make these big fixes now and into the future. But there's one other interesting data point here, which says that when riders are forced off the system, like during a major shutdown, that they often don't come back. Mm. And that can have an impact on everyone, regardless of whether or not you're a Metro rider. That can mean more cars on the road, that can increase congestion, that can make everyone more frustrated. Wait, this is a big, big deal. Pete. Yeah. Let's hope this gets solved soon. Thank you.